Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this special bulletin. Halo Season 2 is coming, and the actor playing Master Chief doesn't have a clue. This article from IGN, Halo fans really want Master Chief to put his helmet back on in Season 2. Now, full disclaimer, I could never get into Halo or Master Chief. I definitely didn't watch the first season because of that lack of interest. I couldn't get into it. However, I was well aware, I have always been well aware of the cultural significance in gaming of Master Chief and the Halo series, spanning six games and well over 81 million copies by now. As of March of 2021, it had sold over eight million, it had sold eight million, 81 million copies. So, hey, it's been ooh, almost three years since then. So eh, it's gone up there. But let's get back to the article on January 12th. This week, Xbox and Paramount showed off a brand new trailer for the upcoming Halo Season 2. Are you excited to see Master Chief's cheeks again? Which continues the story of Master Chief's live action exploits following season one's mixed reception. <clears throat> I do enjoy it whenever a series tanks, fails, they never release the numbers and they call it a mixed reception. Mm, I don't know about that. The trailer below, which no, I'm not going to watch. Go watch it. Go watch it yourself and check it out for yourself. But that's not the point of this whole tr this whole video. Ah, the trailer below. So season two go in a bit more of a gritty direction with plenty of action. The first trailer showed that, and the season probably did not deliver. Ah, that cer certainly looks improved upon season one's divisive set pieces. The less said about that first person shooter sequence, the better. Hmm, was it bad? Huh, you tell me. But it's Master Chief's helmet that has become the hottest talking point. Wait, you mean the iconic helmet of Master Chief? The calling card, the thing that even people who do not play the game, they see that helmet, they see Master Chief in all his glory, know who he is, know, mostly know the franchise itself, but people recognize Master Chief, even those who have never played the game. That is how iconic the helmet is. And the uniform, the armor, is. So, what Pablo Schreiber, uh, as Master Chief, what he has to say next is mind-boggling. He does not, doesn't get it. Halo stars Pablo Schreiber as Master Chief, and we see his face a fair bit in the trailers. Oh, I bet that's going to excite all you Halo fans out there that would just love season one. Master Cheeks, I saw the memes. In fact, one action sequence sees John 117 fighting the Covenant without any armor at all. Maybe I will go back and watch the trailer just to see how foolish this looks. All this in a direct contrast to the video game franchise upon which the series is based. And of course, the absolutely only reason that there's a TV show that was made in the first place because of the success of the video games. Six. Six video games. Since 2001. In Halo games, Master Chief never takes off his helmet. Yep. Never takes his helmet off, because he's getting shot out all the time, mostly. And almost always appears in full armor in the video games created by Bungie and now developed blah, 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 blah. Let's get on with what he says. Uh, some of the negative reaction to the Halo TV show and this latest trailer comes from this place. Fans of the video game are saying across social media and on the forums that they want to see more of Master Chief doing Master Chief things with his helmet on, not less things. So, <laughs> the top post on the Halo subreddit is, subject, is exactly that. How did anybody at the marketing department realize that this was a, not, wait, what? How did nobody, oh, how did nobody at the marketing department realize this was a bad thing? It wonders pointing to the new poster that features Schreiber's Master Chief without his helmet. Oh, oh, let's take a look at this. Halo. Um, this, to me, without his helmet on, and if it didn't say Halo right there, I probably wouldn't know what this was about. Master Chief, with his helmet on, would tell me everything I need to know. This looks like generic action man, maybe from Edge of Tomorrow. Hmm. 
If this debate sounds familiar, it's because fans said similar things when Master Chief first took his helmet off in the very first episode of Season 1. Sa -da -da. On March 2022, Schreiber explained why this decision was made. Here's a fun quote. One thing I learned very early on is that there's as many different opinions in the Halo universe as there are Halo fans. Yes, but I'm pretty sure unanimously, unanimously everyone believes that Master Chief should have his helmet on. So obviously you're not going to be able to please everybody. Well, you please a lot more of them if you keep your helmet on. But what I would say is that we are tailoring an entertainment experience that tailors to the medium that it's for. Except that you can't read the room. Ah. When you play a first-person shooter the way the character looks, blah, 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 blah. Uh, necessary when you're making long-form television. Hmm. There's already numerous examples, one of them is recent, where um, he's wrong. To go on this journey with your protagonist, you're not going to be able to bring an audience along in a long-form story without having access to the character's face. Din Djarin and the Mandalorian would like to vehemently disagree with you. Now, while the third season of The Mandalorian, the ratings, not the ratings, the viewership fell off a bit, that was not due to whether or not the Mandalorian took his helmet off. As a matter of fact, for the vast majority of the first two seasons, I believe he had his helmet on. You have three full seasons of Din Djarin with his helmet on, along with many other Mandalorians or Bo Mandalorians with their helmet on at all times. It's almost like it's been done before. There was a movie a while back that you may remember. Um, it was based on a comic book, featured a character who wore a mask the entire movie. The name of that movie was V for Vendetta. So you're trying to tell me that wearing a mask covering the actor's face. Oh, wait, one other movie, Dread. Not the Sylvester Stallone when he took his helmet off. Dread, a yet another movie where the protagonist kept his face covered. Sure, you saw Dread's lower jaw. But you did not see his entire face. Huh. Access to the character's emotional life, life over the course of time is what makes you empathize and connect with the character. So, you cannot empathize with Guy Fox or Din Djarin or Dread. This is what this guy is saying. I'm sorry, but it's the only choice <laughs> for long-term storytelling in television. So, okay. Not having a clue is definitely on the list of things for him, for this guy. Hmm. Uh, what I would say to everyone who disagrees with that, I totally respect that opinion. Everybody disagrees with you because there's proof over and over again, two movies, one TV series, sure, many other ones that every, people on social media will think of, that prove you 100% wrong. It's a pretty basic place to start when you're talking about a television show of quality. Ooh, that's a very poor choice of words because there's a lot of people out there who believe the quality of the Halo season one was uh, bottom of the barrel. Halo was an interesting place. was blah, blah, blah. What do you think? Oh, my goodness. You have proof that what he's saying is incorrect. You don't know. Oh, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and move on from this. My goodness, you have no choice. You have no choice but to remove his helmet if you want to be able to empathize and connect with the character. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here. What do you think of those comments? Were you able to empathize with Guy Fox or Dread or the Mandalorian, Din Djarin, or were those just flukes? Maybe it's a dig on his own acting ability. But let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like, leave a dislike, do all those nifty things that we YouTubers beg you to do, and I hope to see you on the next one.